Good morning, boys. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Let's go here. Look at this. It's like something out of Gladiator. Gladiator 2 trailer looked good. Anybody agree? I actually thought it looked pretty good. Um, I've never actually been up here, but I can always see it from our house. Always wanted to come up. So I'm going to, uh, it's quite a climb. I'm out of breath, but uh, I'm going to make the content here today. I've got a video that has been running through my mind for a few weeks. So especially off the back of the last video I made about staying selfish while you're young and stuff. Um, it's, re it's really hit me lately. So I wanted to almost do a part two, a follow up of that. Uh, and this video is going to be about staying single in your late twenties and early thirties. I think it's essential. So it's about to get really beautiful up here. You can see where we're walking, got all these trees. I think, and it's just a guess that there's a row of trees here and I can walk straight through the middle and it will give me a bit of shade. It's going to make everything look extremely pretty. Um, before we start guys, supplements, link below in the bio or in the first, it's in the pinned comment. Um, you can get them for uh, free shipping worldwide and 10% off if you subscribe monthly. Stream platform, I'm currently editing Fatherless Generation. You can sign up to, to watch that very soon, link is below. Also, we've got, if you want to sign up to 1M House, you can go direct and pay 2,999 and you get a whole year where I am now and in our next location, um, which is gonna be unbelievable. We're planning that out as we speak. Oh, this is beautiful here. Um, you've got audio book and ebook below, and we've also got the course, guys. So if you wanna grab the course, I think it's the best content I've ever made, personally. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. Hang on, let me adjust. There we go, my arm's killing me. We just hit the gym, we got a gym at the house now. Um, I think it's the best content I've ever done. I was really passionate about making it. it. Took me, God, I've probably done all the old contents on there, and I've probably done like a hundred videos up to now. So, you know, it's all the stuff about attracting women, setting your life up, framing how Dan Bilzerian's done it, how Leonardo DiCaprio does it. Really good content, guys. Stuff that I've never released on YouTube. So, you can go and check that out. There's payment plans for that if you want to just uh, pay in two instalments. So, look at that mountain. Look at this view as well. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, so the point of this video, guys, let's get straight into it now. Three minutes in, straight in. Um, so I've, I've realized lately that, you know, aggregation of marginal age. I told you guys about that before. As you get older, things get easier. And the perfect example is video games. I remember when I was like four or five years old, I was trying to like, I was trying to beat a game or beat a level and I couldn't do it. Uh, about 12, 13 years old, it was like, this is the easiest thing I've ever done. Why did I used to struggle on this? And that's because you're older, you think differently, you do things differently, you don't make the same mistakes. And I think life is a skill and business is a skill. Your nine to five job is a skill, everything, right? You just get better at navigating life. You understand life better. You understand what's required of you. Um, do you know what? I've been told there's bears up here. So, may. I mean, there's a gorilla here already, but we'll have to see. The old grizzly versus the silverback. We'll get to see who actually is the strongest here, guys. Um, so you get better at life. You get better at business. You get better at all these different things, right? So it takes time. And in my opinion, you were 18 versus like, I've always had this old phrase where I said, from 18 to 28, you might make like one or 2% progress in your entire life. Everything that you ever wanted to do, you might make like 2% progress. From 28 to 30, you might make like a 20% leap. And that's because of just who you've become. Now, I personally think <coughs> you don't wanna waste those years. So once you get to that age, let's say, uh, the title of this video will probably be late 20s and early 30s. So those are pivotal ages for two reasons. You've become who you wanted to become. You've become a much higher level guy who can navigate life, who can make things happen easier. But number two, you've still got energy. This is the big thing. I'm 32 years old, end of August. Uh, I could run a marathon. I could run sprints. 
I'm working 16 hour days here whilst doing content, whilst editing stream platform projects. So I'm by far the sharpest I've ever been in life. I'm by far the most streetwise, the most intelligent I've ever been. I'm able to do things a lot easier, but also I've got high energy still. You know, and because I don't go out drinking anymore, I don't live a terrible lifestyle, I've probably got more energy now than I've ever had before. And this is why late 20s, early 30s is so pivotal. I, I would personally say there's a four year window where, uh, let, let's say the most dangerous age for men is 27. I've said that before in a video. I think 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So strangely, it's actually five years. It's weird how that happens. It's, it's the same when you count days. Um, I think that during that five year window, you know, all of those years, that you've really got to, I think you've really got to lock in. I think you've got to use the fact that you've still got energy. I think you've got to use the fact that you're the best version of you that you'll ever be uh, collectively. You know, I always say men peak at 37. You know, it's just a real good time to put things in place from like 28 to 32 because, you know, you're almost at your ultimate peak. You're almost collectively as good as you'll ever be in all areas of life. It's just like, I, let me get one thing straight. Moving forward in my life now, I would quite like to have a relationship. I would quite like to do kids. I would quite like to do all that stuff. I've moved into a very nice spot in my life where I want to be surrounded by good people. And as selfish as I tell you guys to be when you're young, it gets to a point where you go, I need to be doing this for, uh, for someone else now. I need to be doing this for my kids or something because it just gives you a new lease on life. It gives you an extra kick. And if I didn't have that, I don't know, I just, I think, I think life would get boring. I think it'd be very hard to keep up those energy levels because you're just doing stuff for yourself. I don't like the idea of that. Bear with me, I think it's a car. You've just been hit by a dust storm from that car. Um, yeah, I think it'd be really hard to do just selfishly for yourself. So let me get one thing straight. I truly believe that men should find a very good woman. I think they should have kids. I think they should do all this stuff. I think staying single forever is stupid. I think humans are meant to pair off. However, from 28 to 32, these are probably, you know, your best chance. I'm getting attacked by flies here. This is probably your best chance. To, can you see this? This is probably your best chance to put some serious points on the board to get to a super high level in life. Yeah, I think it's the first big opportunity. You know, some people do it before, some people do it later, but how my mind works now, how I think now, is completely different to how I thought when I was like 23, 24. And at 23, 24, I tried hard. I, I made so many mistakes. I wasted a lot of time. Let's just get to the top of this hill. Yeah, I wasted a lot of time. And it's uh, what I'm doing now, or who I am now, I can do stuff like in six months, what used to take me like six years to do. And I just think you've got to use that. And that's the importance of staying single in your late 20s and early 30s, because that five year window that I mentioned from 28 to 32, guys, that's massive. And I mean the whole of being 32. Wow, look at this. You see this? I don't know if you can see it quite the same as me, but that is gorgeous. Just trees just going for miles into the mountains. I'm gonna have to climb these mountains at some point. I'll take you guys with me. I'll put a little GoPro and a mic on. I think that'd be cool. But yeah, I think that's essential in life. I think staying single in your late 20s, early 30s. You know, where I am now turning 32, I'm starting to think, okay, that's the end of that now. But I've pushed like a lunatic. That doesn't mean you can't date. Doesn't mean you're not gonna have a sex life. But you know, I, I just think they're pivotal years because you're the smartest you've ever been. You're the sharpest you've ever been. You're able to do things a lot quicker and easier in life. So to waste those, I think would be a shame. And relationship isn't a waste, but I just think having all that time and money, uh, all the freedom, to just do whatever you want to do. You know, when you're a very good version of yourself, you can get things done quick. It's the efficiency that I think you can't waste. So that's my message of the day, guys. Remember all the links are below uh, if you want more content. Um, you know, if you missed the videos, sign up to the course, you got endless videos on there. Um, if you want some documentaries, streaming platform, if you want to be here with me, which, you know, many people will be very, very soon. All the guys who have signed up, uh, and we're going to have the launch party on August the 2nd. So, you know, if you want to be here, if you want to be hanging out here, we've got a gym at the house, we've got a pool, we've just built the office, we've got 
uh, all the facilities you could ever imagine, guys. We've got desk space, we've got communal spaces, we've got fire table area where you can sit. Um, we've got a sauna that's arriving very soon. So, I mean, this house is basic, basically, I um, moved into the hotel business, moved into the hotel kind of sector. So it's exciting times. I can really see the vision now. I can really see where this is gonna go. You know, in 28 to 32 has really helped me do that because of who I've become and I've really thought about what I wanted in life. I've really honed in, I've, I've cleaned up my mistakes. I'm like, you can't spend that anymore. You can't keep doing that anymore. You, you gotta be getting up at 5 a.m. Do you know what I mean? Just these little things, it just locks you in at this age because you start taking life seriously. So uh, I hope this has been a good lesson for you guys. I'll speak to you all soon. Have a good one.